Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to uh, Gleams 101. Now, if you're like mid to late game, I suggest skipping later in the video because I'm just about to explain what Gleams are since this is a 101 course if I could find a Gleam. Uh, are they even up here? They might not even be up here. Since you don't get anything for... Hold on. I know I got one. Alright, there it is. Okay, so, um, this is a gleam. This is a fire gleam. If you don't know what gleams are, they're them cute little stars that you see probably in PvP a lot for, um, the farming teams so don't be alarmed they're extremely weak you shouldn't die to them if you die to them then you should probably just uh, uninstall monster super league and uninstall your life but no one builds gleams because you can't I'm not even sure honestly why they have skills because you can't even make one I mean you can fight with one and get a level 10 but that's pretty much it uh, the Gleam's sole purpose is to act as a substitute for the first evolution for any Mon in the game. So like the Red Gleam, of course, can only go to any Fire Mon, the Blue one to any Water, the Green one to any Grass, and then there's the Holy Gleam, which can go to all Mons, so Dark and Light as well, which is predominantly what they're used for. Um, I wish I could show you what the other ones look like but I mean here's one right there I mean they're pretty cute though my favorite has to be the holy gleam because it looks like a, a buff baby oh there's no activity to display um okay let's continue so you know how I said it's, it could substitute for any uh, evil one mod like right here with my Valkyrie, I'm about to get her to Evo 3. Take her gems off. Wait, she has crap gems on her anyways. Yeah, utter garbage. But uh, I'm about to Evo 3 her. Not Evo 3 her, but get her to Evo 2. And you see she's added in there just like she's just another Valkyrie. And I mean, this way is like the sole way, the predominant way that people get those evil 3 nat 5s to get the and get some evil 3 nat 4s and um yeah i just have uh i just need two more gleams and i'll finally have a evil 3 nat 5 my first evil 3 nat 5 and you may be wondering okay so where can i get gleams you know and there's a couple of different ways you can get them but it does take some commitment so if you're if you have a bad time of commitment then it's probably not for you but one way you can get them which is obviously the way most people get them is um you can purchase a gleam every week from pvp for 150 medals as you can see i went ahead and got one already got one this morning so on average you'll average out about four four uh red red green or blue um gleams a month so you can evo uh, evo two one mon of that element a month which isn't bad i mean as long as you're doing pvp every day for your dailies like i know i said in a different video i just do 10 matches a day and on like saturday night before it resets i just go ham and try and get up as high as i can on the ladder like most people do but um yeah, that's the only way you can get these these ones because they're in a league metal shop. You can also buy them, but I don't know about you. Honestly, it's not it's beyond not worth it to be spending forty six bucks a month on a gleam and the little bit extra extra stuff they give you. Like it's it's no point. Eighty nine dollars for a gleam in a high light and dark egg. Like, bruh, no. That would net you four extra ones, but still, no. 
You can also get them from the crystals if you get uh, 600 crystals, which is amazing, which is a great deal. I usually get these once every two to three months, depending on how much I pull for the uh, Clan Fest and Heroes Fest. So that really, really helps out. And I definitely recommend spending your crystals on that and not the high and dark, not the high light and dark egg because three to five stars, you're like 99% confirmed to get like a pin pin, which I would take a Colt. <laughs> I mean, and the other ones, no thanks. And sadly, you can't get any with the um, clan points, though I wish you could. But yeah, that's one way you can get the red, green, and blue ones, which is from um, doing PvP. Um, 50 matches, 150 points, that's all you need. It should take you 15 minutes every day to do that, even if you're slow with it. Um, the other way you can get it, well, the other way you can get uh, the Holy Gleam is by doing your, uh, your dailies and your weeklies. As you can see, I'm at 11 out of 25. I got a couple more to go, a couple more, more weeks to go, and I'll have another Holy Gleam. So that makes for four Gleams total. And like I said before, the Holy Gleam, you can use it on any Mon. And I guess I just honestly can't stress it enough that if you're not Gleaming, basically, how do you expect to progress in the game? You know, Evolutions boost your Mon stats roughly by, by about, I think, 10%. Could be wrong. But 10% and that's a that's a lot. Especially coming from an uh, Evo 1 to an Evo 3. You really find that some mons, especially like Nat 4s, don't really shine until they hit Evo 3. And then they become like gods. So I gotta do my weeklies. But it, it, it's Monday so I definitely have time. But that's one way you can get one Holy Gleam. Um, one Holy Gleam a month. The other way is through um, the login, the daily logins. So if you log in um, every single day for 21 days, I believe. I believe it's 21 days. Can I pull it up here? Oh, yep. See, yeah. Every 21 days, you also get a gleam. So that's two gleams just by playing a game for 21 days in a row. I mean... You can't beat that. That's no effort whatsoever. Just log in even if you're busy for two seconds. Claim your reward and log back out. So that's two Holy Gleams you can get per month. And there is one more you can get Holy Gleam wise. And that's from the Tower of Chaos. Now if you're early to mid game, you probably don't have the gold or the money. I mean not the money, but the um the gold or the correct mons to do Tower of Chaos, at least to that high of level. So if you can't get to fifty, I honestly wouldn't even bother because that's majority majority's reason for doing it. That's my sole reason for doing it. I mean you do get three hundred Astro Gems from floor seventy, which honestly is pretty good, but I'm not ready for that. But just by hitting floor 50, which you can within, I would say, depending on how much you play, three to six months, you should be able to do um, Tower of Chaos, at least a floor 50. That nets you another Gleam. So you're already at a total of seven Gleams. Not counting any random events or stuff like that when without buying packages. So three could go to a Light and Dark Mon, and then the rest can go to any Mon that you want. That you want to build and I mean they added one more and that's the Astro Mon of the month um, at this point in time I can honestly honestly say that I have not completed all the quests for Astro Mon of the month I believe this is the second month that they started doing this yeah the second month that they started doing this I haven't honestly completed um, of all of them but I'm pretty sure that you get uh, red green or blue um, Gleam from it, so I mean that's a even that's another one. So you're looking at at least a total of uh, five of those and three of the holy gleams. I don't know if you can get a holy gleam from that too, but you're already sitting at roughly eight gleams. So you can Evo two, um, two mons and almost Evo two another one, 
and that's the that's the main way people get those evil three mines that you see in PvP, especially in that fives like Valkyrie or Arthur, Odin, because your chances of pulling sixteen of the same mon, regardless of element, I mean, bless your heart, like. I'm I'm sure I'm sure somebody out there has done it, but one out of all the players that even play this game, like that's too much. But that's predominantly how you get a nat five to evil three, and right how you get a nat four to evil three. Um, and for this last part, uh, it's just my advice. Um, so you don't feel like you have to follow it. But honestly, what I do with my gleams is. I really base my gleams, I really base what I gleam off, or gleam, gleam on, um, I really base it off of u utility of said mon, like, where can I use this mon at, what will it do, what will it accomplish, and then I do kind of like aesthetics and just overall how I feel like, like, you know, how do I feel playing with that mon, like Leo, uh, I definitely want to evil 3 him at some point in time. Once I finish a couple of others, because he's just awesome. I love his animations. This dude hits like a truck, and he's just a beast. And I can always use a solid fire attacker. So I'm I'm gleaming with a purpose. But as you can see, I've got a lot of doors that I'm gonna gleam and in incubus. But um, as you can see, I do have a lot of nap vibes that are not gleamed, and my reason for that too is because, at least for me, I don't find any point in gleaming a nat 5 that I only have one of or two of. You know, it'll just be sitting in my box as Evo 2 and it may help out with Titans, but i much rather gleam a nat 4 that I know I can get to Evo 3 and I know that, that I need, you know, that I know, I know that I need to assist with, you know, farming or clearing out B7, B8, B9, B10, then to have a whole box full of evo 2 nat fives that can never hit evo 3 because i never pull them you know i mean if i ever get enough gleams which honestly will probably never happen i would evo 2 them as well but i i really prioritize utility and how many of those mods that i already have like my valkyrie i've been working on her for the past month the reason why she's going to evo 3 now instead of before is because I have enough Valkyries to Evo 3 her. And my other mons, like my Wild Fang here, I I gleam her. They get her to Evo 3. I gleam Succubus to get her to Evo 3. You know, I don't have any regrets on that because when I'm Evo 3 the mons, I'm Evo 3 them Evo 3 them because I need them. Wild Fang, I needed her for B9 farming. Same thing with Succubus and actually I also use Succubus in my B10 team, which uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit. But, you know, there's a lot of people you'll hear, they'll tell you, don't waste any of your gleams on a nat 4. But if all you have is a nat 4, if all you have are nat 4s, like if you somehow manage to get 4 Thors and you have a Dark Thor, why not just go ahead and gleam them all up and get them to Evo 3, you know? Because I know a lot of people on the forum especially would tell you just save them for nat 5s, nat 5s, nat 5s. I mean, like I said, this is just advice. I personally don't have any problem using it on nat 4s because some of my team compositions are nat 4s. And I think it's important. I think it's important to pass certain stages of the game until you're comfortable with everything. And you're able to farm everything and run everything. Before really focusing on nat fives that you may never get, and it's the same thing with nat fours. So really, it's just you choosing what you need and when you need it. And that's my take on gleams. Um, I honestly don't have any problem, like I said, with gleaming a nat four over a nat five, especially if I have four of those nat fours. Yeah, I think I want to work on my getting my Dark Door to um, Evo 3 next after my Valkyrie. But yeah, uh, that's my take on Gleams. 
I remember do PvP every um, every day do it at least 50 times a week um, do your dailies every day log in every day keep playing you'll one day hit Tower of Chaos if you haven't hit it yet don't worry uh, I'm working on a guide at least my personal guide for Tower of Chaos you get the 50 and you'll get there and I mean seven gleams a month it's really worth it especially if you're invested in the game but yeah, uh, that's Gleams 101, and as always, guys, uh, thanks for watching.